Hello, um, my name is Brooklyn, and I'm going to be telling you the process uh, that I went through to get baptized. So I've been going to the attic for a while now, and I finally decided that I was going to publicly announce to give my life to Christ. Before uh, I decided that I wanted to get baptized, earlier this year, I was in a dark place because my great-grandma had just passed away and COVID was hitting, everything was just all over the place and I felt really lost. And my life before Christ was that I really didn't know what I wanted to do with myself or what I wanted to do in my life. I was just unsure of anything I really wanted to do. And then I started going to the attic and I started being involved in the youth groups and I go to a Bible study now. Whenever you decide you want to get baptized, you decide that you want to be like living your life through Christ. You want to repent from all your sins. Anything in the past that you've done, just give it all to Him. There's a verse that really spoke to me and it is John 10, 27 to 28. And it says, My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and never will perish and no one will snatch them out of my hand. This verse really spoke to me um, because it shows that like, no matter what, you can do anything through God, with God. He's all knowing, all loving, all caring, and everything you do should be through Him. And as long as you do that, the, nevil, the devil's never gonna touch you. He's never gonna get to you. And it's like a like a bubble almost where like all your fears and insecurities and like all your temptations are just given to God. While baptism isn't like necessarily what saves you because you should be saved when as soon as you let God into your life and let him take over.